Oh, this looks so beautiful there. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> it's so lovely to have you. Boy, have you been a busy girl? Yeah, that was amazing. But um, I'm... apart from that, then you're here. Yeah, and exactly. you're home. Album. And this must have been, it must have been a big... Control of it. Yeah, because, um, you know, there's so much going on. And on top of um, doing the album, usually there's a lot of other things going on. Um, but because I had quite a lot of time, I had time to just really focus on, on the songs for the album. Mm. And do you like the songwriting side of it? Yeah, I, I love it. It's something I've been doing since I was 12, so I, I love kind of getting involved in that. And I, I believe I've written with some of the greatest songwriters in the world, like Max Martin, and, and, um, and learnt so much yeah. from them. So. so do you ever, I mean, imagine when you were 12, you were a little girl, and you were writing down these songs in a book. Mm -hmm. um, and then I got into uh, contemporary music um, from about 12. So yeah, is it something you're very precious. Kind of, you know, I want to give people the best show possible, so I was trying What's to What's the routine? What do you do? I'm just warming up and, and doing my singing lessons and just not overly using my voice. And, um, it, I mean, as a scale, What's the highest note that you can hit? Because sometimes I, people I'm like, ask me that all the time, but I don't actually. I've never actually sat down and like done a, you know. Really? No. You should. That'd be the it. first thing I'd do I do. I think had that a if, if I do it now, because these windows would be a fortune <laughs> to replace. Yeah. In my life now, going through these different times, but then at the same time, it's it's just amazing. So, so. it'll be more labyrinth than Avatar. Yeah, exactly. Because when be you singing, go through your life, there aren't enormous. There not, great aren't big green, well, blue people. Blue yeah. people <laughs> walking through a little bit scared because. It, <laughs> oh, no. it, well, well you, you end up in a gun siege in Los Angeles, is that right? Well, it, it kind of sounds really, really... Dramatic. When you say it like that, <laughs> it sounds really dramatic. But um, they, they didn't have guns, but it was these two guys that basically... My car was parked and um, the, uh, the chase ended right in front of the car. And um, the guy that I was with um, tackled one of them to the ground and then the police arrested them. So this doesn't seem... By a crossfire or anything like that. It, it was scary, it definitely was. You've come off a... Not for myself and my safety, of course, when you're in the public eye, you kind of have to, to do that.